In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our wills to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If I may use human terms to help your natural weakness, as once you put your bodies at the service of vice and immorality, so now you must put them at the service of righteousness for your sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you felt no obligation to righteousness. And what did you get from this? Nothing but experiences that now make you blush, since that sort of behaviour ends in death. Now, however, you have been set free from sin, you have been made slaves of God, and you get a reward leading to your sanctification and ending in eternal life. For the wage paid by sin is death. The present given by God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Word of the Lord Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive, and how great is my distress till it is over. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, I believe in our life we do have significant scripture readings that we will remember forever, mainly because the reading is the turning point in our life. Perhaps it came when we needed it to make a big decision in our life or when we are down and we feel that God is speaking to us through the readings. Today's Gospel reading is one of the readings that I will remember in my life that changed my life to what I am today, a Franciscan friar. It was when I desperately looking for an answer 
At first, I don't have interest in joining this order, but seems like God have prepared everything in front of me. And when I walked a few steps towards Him, many things happened that made me doubt. And imagine when I ask God for the answer and re hear reply me with this. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? Oh, that day I felt my heart was pierced by a sword and I cried throughout the mass. God seems harsh to me. But don't get him wrong. Reading from the whole context today, God was telling me that following him is not easy and it is difficult so let not my focus on following him be shaken there are many events and scriptures verses that i feel god is replying to my questions and doubts i believe it is the same with you too because hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 says that for the word of god is alive and active sharper than any double-edged sword. It, it, it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Because the Word of God is active and alive, every time we hear the Word of God, it should lead us to our conversion. Often, when we know that we have sinned, our guilty conscience is always holding us back from going back to God. We can be in the church or in front of the TV joining the life mass, but we may not be in wholeness of us. And that is why our first reading is inviting us always and do not be afraid of coming back to God because the wage paid by sin is death. The present given by God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.